And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Here's Abdullah from his end zone. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. Here we go, here we go. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. Well, this has been a tough one for them, Charles. They've struggled really on both sides of the football. And one thing that's really plagued them, the turnovers. They've had issues keeping the football in their possession. And every game that's ever been played, <laughs> all coaches talk about taking care of the football and limiting turnovers. And in this one, after we saw that first turnover, we worried that things would snowball. And it certainly did, especially on the scoreboard. Garoppolo now, first down throw. He'll let this go for Adams. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. And they're at the point of the ball game now where they've got to take some chances. They've got to put the ball in the air and just see what happens. But this defense knows that all too well. 11, 21, 21. Now Garoppolo throwing on second. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. Well, we've talked about it, CD, but it bears repeating. And they are struggling to throw the football. All the interceptions and more incompletions. It just doesn't look like things are in sync out there. I would agree with that. And it's not a good day when you feel like an incomplete pass is almost a win for you because it wasn't intercepted. I think the receivers now, when they're running their routes, they want to catch the ball. But they also want to make sure that the defenders don't take it away. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives them a first down. Well, those are the types of plays they probably go, wish go, they go. had made more of in the first three quarters. Oh, oh, and this deficit is going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth. But a nice first down and a pickup on that. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. On second down, here's Garoppolo. Got a man, it's Mayer. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 25-yard line. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. Over the middle, complete. That's Adams. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. To throw, it's Garoppolo. He'll get this underneath to Jacobs, and they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. But they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Nine-yard line, second and six. To throw is Garoppolo. And this is caught. Touchdown, Raiders. Devontae Adams with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Raiders get a bit closer. Garoppolo going to stay on the field with the Raider offense. They'll go for two. They'll look to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And unable to connect. They don't get the two-point conversion here. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for a few years of two-point tries and see what the data tells us. Because a lot of teams want to throw the ball in this situation, this time unsuccessfully. I just wonder if maybe running the ball might be the way to go. With it moved up from the three to the two, you would think maybe a few more attempts at running. I, I think stats over time may bear out that running the ball will at least be the equal of throwing it in that situation. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They're in control here as they start first and ten and appearing to have righted the ship following that two-game losing streak. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. 
good gain there on first down. It keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front, good blocking, nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage, stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that. They're not in any rush offensively. 23 yards the pick up there. They fake the handoff. Now Tua. They'll swing this out wide. Here's H.A. And he's got this down to the 35. And quickly they get to the line. Off a of play action. Tongue of Iloa. He'll take his shot for the end zone. And that's going to be incomplete. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's not locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, but a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. On play action, here's Tua. He's got this to Williams complete. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Hey, hey, let's go. Hey, come on, two. Come on, two. Come on, two. Ready. On first down, Tonga Bailoa finding Williams once more. Complete. Touchdown. Mike Williams from 10 yards out. And the Dolphins look like they're about to put an end to their two-game losing streak as they add on to their lead. Sanders on for the extra point. And they open the lead up now to 25 points. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Seven catches for him now, and this last one, a first down. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there, it's gonna artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. Now Garoppolo is in trouble, and down he goes. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. Throwing on second and long. Garoppolo. And oh my goodness, here's a fifth interception. Picked up by Xavier Howard. Well, there's two sides to this coin. I mean, on one side, five interceptions now thrown for him. That's tough. But, man, this defense, they have been ball hawking and impressive. But, Charles, let's flip it back over. If you're coaching a quarterback that's struggling this much at this stage of the game, do you maybe try to get him out? I would think about it, and I think about it awfully hard. But also, you might want to look into his eyes, see what he has. He might be one of those players that you don't want to affect his confidence by actually pulling him out of the game. So you have to know your player. You have to know the situation. That one looks like he'll throw here. And 
this throw is going to be incomplete. Well, their passing attack, even though that one was incomplete, has been really sharp in this one. It's resulted in a lot of touchdowns, and it looks like they're not going to stop throwing the football until the very end of this one. Well, that will certainly make everyone involved on offense pretty happy because that gives them all a chance to pad their stats a bit. But as far as the actual need, you and I both know they can just run this clock out because this one is over a long time ago. But he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Throwing now is Chugabailoa. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Sanders now to add the extra point. Now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. This fielded right at the goal line. And able to get this out to the 25. Here we go, here we go. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. 13, well, this 13, game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace where the other offense are going against here. Yeah, it's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. And as this defense walks off the field, they can do so with their heads held high. What a performance by the offense, too. I mean, really, Charles, just complete domination on both sides of the football here in this one. Certainly was, and I think both sides compete against each other all the time. You go to each other in practice, obviously your training camps, your offseason. But on game day, you both want to show your best. And I think that's what we saw from both the offense and the defense, a complete team victory. So for the Dolphins, it's a win that might keep them alive in the playoff race as they're back to 500 at 5-5. Five and five. And they will hit the road next week to take on the New York Jets. Meanwhile, for Las Vegas, their luck may have run out as they fall to 4-7 and seven now in the year. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves 